The superior capsule reconstruction is a technique to address the massive irreparable rotator cuff tear. The Arthroflex dermal allograft in this technique will help reduce superior translation and improve glenohumeral joint kinematics. A biceps tendinesis is commonly performed prior to completing this procedure with a swivel lock tendinesis suture anchor. The superior glenoid and humeral tuberosity bone beds are prepared using a flush cut burr and power rasp. The power pick is used for additional footprint preparation to maximize vascular channels. Two 3mm biocomposite suture tack anchors are inserted percutaneously into the superior glenoid, just medial to the superior labrum, and two biocomposite swivel lock anchors preloaded with fiber tape are inserted into the greater tuberosity spanning the defect. A 10mm passport cannula is used in the lateral portal to help with suture management and graft passage. An arthroscopic measuring probe is used to measure the distance between the anchors. These four different measurements are recorded and used to shape the arthroflex graft. Small holes are made in the arthroflex graft at the corresponding anchor locations of the fiber tape sutures to simplify suture passage and ease suture sliding when positioning the graft. The fiber tape sutures are systematically retrieved through the passport cannula and passed through the graft. The four fiber wire sutures are then individually passed through the graft using a scorpion suture passer. Careful attention to suture management is critical at this point to avoid suture twists while retrieving and passing the sutures. The medial glenoid anchors and sutures are used as a pulley to help position the graft into place. One of the suture strands from each anchor are tied together over the graft. A kingfisher tissue grasper is used to advance the graft through the passport cannula and into the glenohumeral space. Tensioning the opposing suture strands will pull and position the graft onto the superior glenoid. The two remaining fiber wire suture limbs are tied using a static surgeon's knot. Once the medial side is complete, the humeral side is fixated using a standard knotless speed bridge repair to maximize fixation strength and enhance footprint compression between the graft and bone. Increased graft fixation can be achieved with knotless push locks and cinch stitches on the anterior and posterior sides of the graft. Margin convergence sutures are added posteriorly between the arthroflex and remaining rotator cuff tissue. Anterior sutures can be added, but care should be taken to not overconstrain the interval. The completed superior capsule reconstruction helps reduce superior humeral translation and improve shoulder kinematics by anatomically replacing the superior capsule.